G'day guys, welcome back. I am going to try my bloom recipe with Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Because you guys know, well, if you've been following me, that I use this with Jo Sonia's paints. But I want to see what happens if I just do these metallic ones. So my bloom mixture is three parts untinted wall paint, one part uh, Jasonia's Gloss Medium and one part Polycrylic. And it's just all mixed up in there. It's pretty thick. And then I was doing two parts Pouring Medium to one part Jasonia's. So I'm not sure what ratio I'm going to need for this, but I thought I will just make it up in front of you, just in case you might like to see how it's mixed up. Move my little canvas out of the way for a minute. I've got my little scale. I'll put that on. I'm just going to mix them in these little cups because you really don't need very much. Make sure it's on grams. And I've got copper. This one is Deco Art Dazzling Metallics in Black Pearl. And then that one is the Extreme Sheen 24K. <clears throat> These do need a good shake. I'm going to shut the door. Whenever I don't shut the door, the dogs give me grief. <laughs> and I thought, no, they'll be fine today. Give that a shake. Give that a shake. So I'm not exactly sure whether the consistencies are going to be the same. If you don't shake these, they've got kind of like a layer of oil over the top of them. Right, oh. So let's put in, we're only going to do a little bit of paint, so let's just do 20 grams of this. Oh, that's 10. We'll go 20, just because it's a nice round figure. I hope I can stir in this. And then, take the plastic off so I can use the little spouty thing Get it to come down 10 grams make sure you zero your scale first seems similar in consistency to Joe Sonia's actually so it might be all right so that's 10 so that's two parts well almost, that's nine two parts pouring medium one part copper Look at that. Mixes in really nicely. It's almost done. Just keep going until you can't see any more of that white streak. I didn't need all that. Probably made a 10 and 5. This is going to make a lot of paintings. I think I'll do less with the next ones. I don't need all of this, hey. So that's it there. Leave some mound. All right, let's move on to the next one real quick. Back to zero and back to zero. Zero. They don't like being on something like this. They prefer to be on a hard surface. All right, zero. Let's just do that's 10. I'm going to zero that again. Peel this plastic off so I can use the little nozzle. So, black pearl. Mm. See how that goes. Come on, zero. Oh, it's giving me grief. Yeah, they really don't like being on a like a, a surface that's not hard. It's like weighing yourself when you're standing on carpet. It doesn't work. Okay, so that one. I'm hoping the copper doesn't take over because copper generally takes over the gold. So 
that's better. I don't need a, such a big cup full, do I? Right, so that's that one. Next little cup. And these little plastic cups, I just buy them, I don't know, you know 100 or 200 or whatever from eBay. And uh, you can wash them out, you know, use them again. Come on, scale. Oh, another one. <clears throat> I've got lots of these because I use them in my class, my my, um, my workshops. Right, so we'll do ten again, like so, and. Oops, five. Look at this. This is a gorgeous colour. Oh, it's gone up to six. That's okay. I'm sure one gram's not going to make a difference. Look at that colour. And then you need to look at your paints and make sure they're all the same consistency because even though they might be the same brand, each colour might be a little bit different. See, that one's not leaving as big a mound. As this one. That one seems to be leaving a bigger mound than the gold. So what do we do to thicken the gold up? Does anybody know? We're not going to put more gold in because it's the gold that's making it thinner. So what we're going to do is we need to put more of the um, this untinted wall paint in it because that's what's thick. That's your thick goopy stuff. <clears throat> I'm just using a little screwdriver to open the can up. And that's it there. Let's give it a bit of a stir. This is the um, untinted like base. If you wanted to get, say, pink paint made up, they would start with this base. And that's it there. So let's just add a little bit of that. Doesn't really matter how much, I'm not weighing it. And we'll see if that will thicken it up a little bit. If on the other hand it's too thick, you would add some poly polycrylic or some Jo Sonia's gloss varnish, which are really quite thin, they're almost like water. So that's it there. It's a little bit thicker. I don't want to put any more of this in because I don't want my gold to be lost. I'll just put that there for now and I'll give it a bang with the hammer uh, shortly to hit it back on. Now this one, it still seems to be thicker than that gold. I mean, I did thicken the gold up a little bit. Just looking at the mound, the size of the mound. So that is much thicker. So what I'm gonna do to that, to thin it out, and I'm actually, I'll just pour some in here because I don't need all of that. I'm actually just going to put a tiny little bit of varnish in it. That one there. Start with a few drops. It's better than adding water. Just add a little bit of the varnish because that's what's in the pouring medium anyway. So you can thicken it up by using your base coat for your, for your house paint or you can thin it down with using your gloss varnish. All right, so that's better. So they're all basically the same. I want them to be the same consistency. Now what we do is our flow troll and white mix for our cell activator. So same again, I like two to one. When I'm doing a swipe, I like two to one. Shake, shake, shake. I find that the um, 
white has to be thicker when you're doing a swipe. So let's just put in 10 again. We don't need very much. And then the white is the Amsterdam titanium white. And we just need five of that. Make sure that you don't have any gooby bits that might fall in. So that is two to one. And now we need another stick. I'll mix that one up. Hope you guys don't mind me taking time here mixing, but some of you might like to see how it's actually done. And if you don't want to, that's okay. You can just fast forward and get to the fun bit, say. So this is thinner. I'll take you up for a close up in a minute and show you the difference. So make sure that's really well mixed in. Okay, let's take the gold up and the white up and I will show you what the little mound is like. If it will focus. There we go. So it leaves a little mound. You drizzle it on top. So that's the gold one. And then the white should be a little bit thinner. See it's not as big a mound. Hope you can see the difference there. So your swipe colour needs to be a little bit there we go, focus again. Swipe colour needs to be thinner than your other colours. Same when you're doing your blooms, your cell activator, which is this white, has to be a little bit thinner. So it can glide over the top of the other colours. Righto, little 25 by 30 centimetre canvas. Um, now I need to put my gloves on because this is where it gets messy. I haven't actually done this before with these colours, so I have no idea if it's going to work. So bear with me. I've got my sheet of plastic to swipe with. And I've got my paper towel ready to go. So the first thing we need to do is lay down our coat of house paint. Now I need quite a lot, so I'm not even going to bother with that nozzle. So I'm just going to pour it out. We don't need a very thick pillow, wasting it there. It's like gold, this stuff, it's expensive, don't want to waste it. We don't need as thick a um, pillow as when we're doing the blooms. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to tilt this or not. But I'll just get all the sides covered for now in case I <clears throat> I don't. I may a little bit. See, if your um, pillow like this is really thin, you won't tilt at all because it's not going to move. But this is actually quite thick. <laughs> I got crazy with the... I went a bit overboard and um, poured a bit too much out. So I could, if I wanted to, tilt because it's got quite a good base underneath the colour for tilting so it's going to move whereas if you have a really thin little layer doesn't matter what you do the paint's not going to move because it's it's got nothing to float around on let's just cover everything just in case i probably will have to actually tilt because i've got so much paint on here it, it won't dry <laughs> that was a bit silly of me wasn't it just pouring it willy-nilly out like that the big blob should have stuck to the nozzle. Kept the nozzle on. We'll see what happens. If you want your lacing to be stretched out, then yes, tilt away. Just give this a nice little smooth 
even covering like so. It's Look, it's so messy. This is why you need your gloves. <clears throat> and this paint doesn't just wash off so easily like normal acrylic paint. Yeah, it's house paint. It sticks. Right, now. <clears throat> excuse me. I think I'm going to go with the copper first. Keep the greyish, blackish away from the white. I was just going to use normal black and I thought, oh, I've got this black pearl. It's metallic. I might as well use it. So... A good amount. I do find that I need a good amount for swiping, otherwise it doesn't go very far. And then we'll do this one, and that'll separate the, the copper and the gold. <clears throat> Izzy's crying at the door. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. She says. All right, but don't bark again. Come on. You gonna behave? Still can't get rid of this cough. I'm going to the doctor this afternoon, finally. See what it is, see if it's bronchitis, if I need some antibiotics. Uh, that's, I'm doing that for Savo because it's not getting any better. It's been three months, two to three months. And now the white. Again, you'd need a decent amount of white because you need it to spread over the top. You can't just use a little bit. We won't only get to that there. You want it to spread. So let's try with a decent amount. If it doesn't work, I'll just scrape it. I've got more paint made up. <laughs> but we don't want to, do we? Righto. Let's take just the white. Hang on to that and drag it down slowly. Ooh, look at that. Wipe that off. That's pretty. So the black's not very dominant. It's more of a grey, isn't it? Now, because I don't want to contaminate my white centre with those colours that I've just swiped, we're going to use the other side. Make sure it's nice and clean. I don't want that blob of gold dragging through, so I'm going to cover it. Is that going to work? Probably not. Probably not going to work. Righto, let's go the other way. Nice and slow. Take your time. Okay. So the copper is quite dominant, isn't it? I thought it might be. Now I'll move that out of the way. Move my plastic out of the way. So you don't want to swipe anymore. You really don't. Just just once is enough. Now, ooh, let's see what happens if I want to tilt. So I've got quite a lot of paint on there because I've put a lot of that pillow underneath. So I'll see if I can just, just a little bit, go over the edges. Bring it back down. Actually, I probably should have done it up here while I was down there on that side. Over that edge. Come back. See, that's opening up all that gold now, which is really pretty. So, same as when I'm doing my, my flip cut pores, I walk the paint back and forth to try and keep its shape. Turn it round. I was kind of expecting it to be a bit darker. Now this, I bet you that light's annoying you. I don't know where to put it. It's my new round light that I got. I know when I tilt you can see that, that white ring, so... I just have to be in darkness now. Now where's the light of my paint? It's down here still. Alright, so it's still down there, so let's go to that corner next. Take your time. No rush. Oops, I haven't quite got there. I'll just do that. Now 
I just want to center this gold a little bit more, which means I have to take it down on an angle like that. How's it looking, guys? How's it looking? I think next time I'll actually put black in just to make the colors pop rather than, see when it's in that way, it's in shade, it looks better rather than that, um, it's really, a, it's like a dark, it's dark silver really, isn't it? Like a pewter. Mm. Oh no, I'm not going to go, I was going to go over there, but I'm not going to. Everything's getting too overstretched. I'm just going to leave it. Center it again where I want it. Okay. What do you think? Do you like it? It's kind of like a peachy color, isn't it? Peach colored. This is the corner I didn't go over. I still have to learn how to tilt with these bloom ones. I did this corner and then I went over there. But what I should have done is while the paint was down this end of the canvas, I should have done that corner. So one, two, and then move all the paint down and then done uh, three, four. That's what I should have done. But I went one and I went all the way down there, two, three, and I had trouble coming all the way back down again. I mean, I could have done it, but it would have just overstretched everything and I chickened out. So next time, remind me. All right, so that worked out quite well, didn't it? I know this bit hasn't got paint over it, but I don't know. Should I try? Should I try and go over there? No, no. Let's just not. Next time. I'll turn it around this way because <laughs> that, that side's covered. All right, I'm going to take you down for a close-up and show you this little beauty. Now I've got paint all over my fingers and taking my gloves off. Such a messy paint. I do think that I would have got a better, just a better look from the black. So I'm gonna go again. Still got some gold and I've got all the colors left out. So I'll just mix up a little bit more paint and I'll add, I've got some Liquitex Basics Black, actually. I might do that and see how that goes with it because it's a nice, highly pigmented paint. And just see if we can get that real contrast of colour from a black rather than a, a grey. I mean, it's still pretty. You know, it's more of a pastel sort of a look. Definitely more of a pastel-y look. Look at that. Look at those cells. Well, actually, no, they're not cells. They're lacing. There's a difference between cells and lacing. So we've got a bit of gold there, a bit of copper there. The copper's really um, quite pronounced. It's one of those colours that tends to take over. But look at that gorgeous, gorgeous lacing so pretty and over there see that's quite dark over there but I just think it would look so much nicer if it was black so let's do that next time it's the other side so it's not really black it's, it's just a grayish color still pretty though definitely and when it dries it's gonna be really really shimmery the gold and the copper isn't it really shimmery so I will mix up some more paints and we'll go again with the black I'm not going to mix it all in front of you again you can just refer back to this one to see how I did it but um yeah we'll go with the black and see how that goes all right I'll see you soon thanks for watching bye for now